Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Journey with Akash. So friends, in this video, we'll be talking about what are micro frontends. So if you guys are wondering about that, what is micro frontend actually? So this is the video that will clear all your doubts. So do watch this video till the end. And if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's begin. Now, let's say that you are building an e-commerce project, having some basic functionalities like adding product to the list and then adding those products to the shopping cart and finally checking out. So let's say that you are building your project, your e-commerce application using monolithic architecture. So monolithic application means that having a single code base, that means one repository having all the features of your application. So now let's say you want to turn your this monolithic single page application into micro front. -end. So what we need to do. So for that, we can divide our monolithic application in such a way that we can uh, divide it in few distinguished features. Let's say you are dividing it in feature one and feature two and feature one is product listing and feature two is shopping cart. So what we can say that this feature one, which is product listing, it will have its own code base, own repository. Okay. Similarly, the second feature will have its own code base, own repository. Now, this will be our two micro front ends and we can, okay. So let's say in micro front end architecture, we have these small, small applications having different, different features. And these are known as micro front ends. And these are integrated within a, within a third application that you can say as a host application inside which these particular applications will get integrated. So let's say that you are creating these, uh, like micro front ends in some, uh, any framework of your choice, let's say React Angular View. Cool. So now there must be one question that is arising that how will we be sharing the data? For example, if in product listing, you are adding some product in cart, then how will it get added? Because both have their own code base thing and own repository. So for that, now for data sharing, uh, we can have different methods. Let's say API calls custom events and web storages. For example, when you are like adding the product to the cart, so you can make an API call. Similarly, in your second micro front end, you can make another API call to fetch the items that are added to the cart. Similarly, you can also talk in between the micro front ends using JavaScript custom events. Got it? Another way is web storages. Web storages means like local storage, cookie storage, and session storage. Using these storages also, you can make the data sharing possible. Let's talk about what are the advantages. So advantages are like you are earlier, what you were doing is you had a single monolithic application and the entire, all the features were getting created in one single code base. But now what you can do is you can divide the responsibilities and each of your code base will be handling the single responsibility. For example, product listing can be handled by engineering team one. Similarly, shopping cart can be handled by engineering team two and they can be individually deployed as well without any dependency on each other. Finally, let's conclude. What are micro frontends? So as I told you, micro frontend is simply dividing the monolithic application into smaller and multiple uh, smaller applications that are known as micro frontends, which are responsible for uh, different, different uh, responsibilities. And why should we use them? So that uh, these features can be, you know, created in isolation uh, without having much uh, you know, dependencies on each other. Uh, they can be like managed separately and deployed separately. So friends, this is it uh, about micro front ends. I hope I was able to uh, make you understand and clear your doubts about micro front ends. We'll be covering more about micro front ends in the upcoming videos. We'll be understanding micro front ends via coding. So stay tuned. And if you have liked this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.